what is the first step in assessing an unconscious patient? Two options are check for pulse, call for help, check for responsiveness, or open the airway. The correct answer is C. That is check for responsiveness. Checking responsiveness helps to determine if the patient is conscious or needs immediate intervention. If the patient does not respond, it indicates a potential emergency requiring further assessment and action. Question number two. Which of the following is the correct ratio of chest compressions to rescue breaths in CPR for an adult? Two options are 20 ratio to 30 ratio to 40 ratio to The correct answer is C that is 30 ratio 2. The 30 ratio 2 ensures effective circulation and oxygenation during CPR. It allows for a greater number of compressions, which is critical for maintaining blood flow to vital organs. Question number 3. What is the appropriate treatment for a person experiencing heat stroke? Two options sir. Give cool water and wait. Move to a cool environment and sponge with cool water. Apply warm compresses. Or give warm fluids. The correct answer is B that is move to a cool environment and sponge with cool water. Heat stroke is a life-threatening condition that requires immediate cooling. Moving to a cool environment and using cool water helps lower the body temperature rapidly to prevent organ damage. Question number 4. What is the first action to take for a chemical burn to the eye? Two options are Apply eye drops Rains with water for 15 to 20 minutes Cover the eye with bandage Or Seek medical help immediately The correct answer is B Rinse with water for 15 to 20 minutes. Rising the eye helps to dilute and remove the chemical, minimizing damage. It is crucial to do this as quickly as possible to protect the eye's tissues. Question number fifth. How do you treat a nosebleed? Two options are. Tilt the head back and apply pressure. Tilt the head forward and pinch the nostril. Apply a cold compress to the neck. Or apply pressure to the upper lip. The correct answer is B that is tilt the head forward and pinch the nostril. This position prevents blood from flowing down to the throat, which could lead to choking. Pinching the nostril applies pressure to the bleeding site, helping to stop the bleeding. Question number 6 Hello friends, welcome back to Dear Competitive Exam YouTube channel. Today, you are attending 100 most repeated and most important question answer session based on first aid. And this is the part third of this series. I'm sure that you want to take a challenge to attend the previous two parts. The link of those two videos has been given in the description. So let's challenge your quality of learning.
let's see what will be your score out of 50 from this part 1. So do watch this video completely to make yourself more fit to answer any kind of questions and at the end if you find this video helpful then please do like, subscribe and share this video to all your friends who are preparing for upcoming any kinds of medical exams. Let's continue. Question number 6. What is the best position to place a patient in shock? Show options are sitting, supine with legs elevated, lying on this side or standing. The correct answer is B that is supine with legs elevated. Lying down with legs elevated helps to improve blood flow to the vital organs. This position can help counteract the effects of shock and stabilize the patient's condition. Question number 7. Which of the following is a priority when treating a burn victim? Show options are Remove jewelry and tight clothing. Apply ice to the burn, rub the burn area or break any blisters. The correct answer is A that is remove jewelry and tight clothing. Removing constructed items helps to prevent further injury and allows for swelling. It is essential to avoid applying ice as it can worsen the injury. Question number 8. What should you do if a choking person becomes unconscious? Two options are Give back blues Perform abdominal thrust Start CPR immediately Or Wait for the ambulance The correct answer is C that is start CPR immediately. If a choking person loses consciousness, their airway is likely blocked. Starting CPR can help expel the object causing the choking and provide oxygen to the body. Question number 9. For a fracture, what is the first step in providing first aid? Two options are straighten the bone, splint the bone as found, apply a cold compress or give pain medication. The correct answer is B that is splint the bone as found. Splinting the fracture helps stabilize the bone and prevent further injury. It is essential not to attempt as this can cause more damage. Question number 10. What is the treatment for a minor cut or abrasion? Two options are Apply pressure to stop bleeding. Wash the area with soap and water. Apply antibiotic ointment or all of the above. The correct answer is D that is all of the above. Proper cleaning and care prevent infection and promote healing. Applying pressure to stop bleeding is a crucial followed by cleaning and using ointment to protect the area. Question number 11. What should you do if someone is experiencing anaphylaxis? Two options are give an antihistamine, elevate their feet, administer epinephrine and seek emergency care, or apply a cold compress. The correct answer is C that is administer epinephrine and seek emergency care. Epinephrine counteracts severe allergic reactions and can be life-saving. Emergency care is crucial as well as anaphylaxis can escalate quickly. 
क्वेश्चन नंबर ट्वेल्व वेन शुड यू मूव अ पर्सन विद सस्पेक्ट स्पाइनल इंजुरी जो ऑप्शन सर इफ दे आर इन इमीडिएट डेंजर आफ्टर गिविंग देम पेन रिलीफ only when helps arrives or never under any circumstances the correct answer is a that is if they are in immediate danger moving a person with a suspected spinal injury should be avoided unless they are in life threatening danger proper stabilization is essential to prevent further injury Question number thirteen. What is the best first aid treatment for a sprained ankle? Two options are heat therapy, rest ice compression elevation (R I C E), massage, or active movement. The correct answer is B. That is, rise (R I C E). rest ice compression elevation the rice method helps to reduce swelling and promotes healing it minimizes further injury while allowing the body to recover question number 14 which of the following is not a symptom of a heart attack your options are chest pain shortness of breath arm pain or lower back pain the correct answer is d that is lower back pain while lower back pain can occur in various conditions it is not a classic symptom of a heart attack recognizing two symptoms is crucial for prompt treatment question number 15 How do you treat a person who is hyperventilating? Two options are: encourage them to breathe into a paper bag, instruct them to take slow, deep breaths, administer oxygen, or elevate their legs. The correct answer is. B that is instruct them to take slow and deep breaths slow deep breaths help to regulate breathing and restore proper oxygen levels paper bags may not always be effective and could lead to confusion question number 16 how should you position a person who is unconscious but breathing Two options are on their back with a pillow, on the side recovery position, sitting up, or lying flat on the stomach. The correct answer is B. That is on their side recovery position. The recovery position helps keep the airway clear and prevents choking. It is the safest position for. unconscious individuals who are still breathing question number 17 what should you do if a person has been stung by a bee two options are squeeze the stinger out with tweezers scrap the stinger out with a flat object wash the area with soap and water or apply vinegar to neutralize the venom the correct answer is b that is scrape the stinger out with a flat object scraping helps to remove the stinger without injecting more venom quick action can prevent severe reactions and reduce the pain question number 18 Which of the following is an indication of a second degree burn? Two options are red dry skin, 
blister with swelling and pain, charred skin, or white painless patches? The correct answer is B that is blister with swelling and pain. Second degree burns involve deeper layers of skin and typically present with blisters and pain. Recognizing the severity is crucial for proper care. Question number 19. What should you not do for a person experiencing a seizure? Protect their head. Place something in their mouth. Time the seizure or roll them onto their side once the seizure ends. The correct answer is B that is place something in their mouth. Placing objects in the mouth can lead to choking or injury. Proper first aid involves protecting the person and ensuring their safety during and after the seizure. Question number 20. What is the correct first aid for a person who has swallowed poison? Two options are make them vomit immediately, give them milk, call emergency services and follow their advice, or give them water to dilute the poison. The correct answer is C that is call emergency services and follow their advice. Poisoning can vary greatly in treatment and professional guidance is essential. Inducing vomiting may worsen the situation depending on the substance. Question number 21. What should you do if someone is having a diabetic emergency? and you are unsure whether their blood sugar is too high or too low. Two options are Give them insulin Give them something sugary Wait for medical help or Give them water The correct answer is B that is give them something sugary If blood sugar is low Sugary food or drink can help raise it to a safe level. It is critical to act quickly as both high and low blood sugar can lead to a serious complication. Question number 22. Which of the following is a key symptom of a stroke? Two options are Blurred vision Sudden confusion or difficulty in speaking, pain in the chest, or swelling in the legs. The correct answer is B that is sudden confusion or difficulty while speaking. Recognizing the signs of a stroke is essential for a prompt treatment. Time is critical in stroke management, and immediate medical attention can save lives. Question number 23. What should you do if a person gets frostbite? Two options are Rub the affected area to restore circulation. Warm the affected area gradually. Place the frostbitten area in hot water. Or massage the frostbitten area. The correct answer is B that is warm the affected area gradually. Gradual warming helps to prevent further tissue damage. Rubbing or using hot water can worsen the injury and lead to complications. Question number 24. When treating a person with a suspected broken bone, which of the following action should you avoid? Two options are Immobilize the injured area. Apply a splint, attempt to realign the bone, or apply ice to reduce swelling. The correct answer is attempt to realign the bone. Attempting to realign a broken bone can cause 
further injury and complications. Stabilizing injury is the priority to ensure safety until professional helps arrives. Question number 25. What is the first aid treatment for a burn? Two options are apply ice directly to the burn, immerse in cold water, cool the burn under running water for 10 to 20 minutes, or cover with the bandage immediately. The correct answer is C that is cool the burn under running water for 10 to 20 minutes. Cooling a burn helps to reduce damage and pain, but ice can further harm the tissue while cooling with the water is the safest method. Question number 26. What is the best first aid for a sprained wrist? The options are Apply heat immediately Use rest ice compression elevation rice Perform range of motion exercises or wrap tightly with a bandage. The correct answer is use rest ice compression elevation RICE. The RICE rice method helps to minimize swelling and provides relief. Resting the injured area allows healing to begin without further strain. Question number 27. Which of the following is a sign of a shock? Two options are high blood pressure, slow heart rate, pale clammy skin, play clammy skin, or warm flushed skin. The correct answer is C. There is pale clammy skin. Shock often presents with pale clammy skin as blood flow is redirected to the vital organs. Recognizing signs of a shock is crucial for immediate intervention. Question number 28. What should you do if someone is having a heart attack? Two options are. Have them lie down and rest. Encourage them to walk around. Give them aspirin if they are not allergic. Or both A and C. The correct answer is both A and C. Resting helps to reduce strain on the heart, while aspirin can help prevent further clotting if the person is not allergic. Immediate medical help is essential. Question number 29. In case of a severe allergic reaction, what should you do first? Your options are give them antihistamine, Administer epinephrine, wait for symptoms to improve, or call for help. The correct answer is B that is administer epinephrine. Epinephrine is the first line treatment for a severe allergic reactions and can reverse life threatening symptoms. Calling for help is also critical for ongoing care. Question number 30. What should you do if a person has a deep cut and is bleeding profusely? Two options are Clean the wound with alcohol Apply direct pressure and elevate the area Ignore it if it looks minor Or Apply a turn quit immediately The correct answer is B that is apply direct pressure and elevate the area Applying direct pressure, applying direct pressure can help to control bleeding effectively. Elevating the wound above the heart level can reduce blood flow to the area and aid in clotting. Time is to comment your score out of 30 questions. And friends, thanks for joining us on this exciting journey. If you enjoyed the quiz and learned something new, then give us a thumbs up and let us know in the comment section. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss out on our upcoming exploration of fascinating topics in the medical field. Until the next time, stay curious, stay healthy. See you.